Ahoy, this is Denka. In this video, I'm going to introduce you brand new software called AI Arty Image Matting, which really impressed me with its precision in background removal. It's AI based, has advanced alpha matting for detailed hair, fur, and transparent objects. It's very fast and it does offer batch processing. This video is brought to you by AI Arty. I personally need to remove the background quite often in my images, especially when it comes to creating my YouTube thumbnails. And I've been using Photoshop for that, but it's time consuming. It's not as precise. So there's a lot of tweaks I have to do on my own. That's why I'm not doing it that often. Last year I did one of my bucket shots, which turned out amazing. I'm going to be showing the images in a story soon on the channel and in some photos, I had a hard time getting the result I wanted because again, I needed to separate the subject from the background. And I just would love to see what this software can do. So I pull out some of the photos I took in the past. Let's just see. Once you open up the software, here is the interface you will see. Here's a window where you will see the photo you are currently working on. Below is where you import the images. You can also do that at the top. And on the right are the tools. At the top left is the home button. Once you hit that, it will pull out controls such as add images, hardware check, settings, and proxy settings. Proxies are copies of your files in much lower resolution, so it speeds up your computer. Once you will be exporting the photos, it will be using the large resolution images, so you're not going to lose any quality. This is a great feature to have. Next are shortcuts, languages, help, and about. Let's go to the bottom and add some images. You can also add the entire folder. Let me show you first how to do the basic background removal. The first thing you can do is choose AI model to work with. There are four offered. If you hit the question mark, it will explain what is the strength of each AI model? For example, this first one, Alpha Standard, is best for semi-transparent objects such as wedding dresses, glass, and water droplets. Once you pick one based on the image you are working on, go to Image Matting and hit Start. The background has been removed. This is a classic transparent background. Here is another photo with many objects. If you go to area, select tools and hit AI detect, you can then specifically select the area you want to work on. I'm going to select human, human face and clothing. Just look at the hair area and how it precisely removed the background. Below the transparent background are other effects. You can add an image as a background. Let's just use this wooden background. I'm going to drag to resize the background to a much bigger size to about here. There is lots of blue in the edges as the previous background was blue. So let's go to the next control, which is a feather. Here I can control width and strength to remove as much blue as possible. I can also blur the background. It allows me to select if I want to blur the background or the subject. Besides importing a background, you can also select a specific color as a background. You just pick a specific color. You can also use gradient color. Let's just do this purple look. Once I am done, I'm ready to export the image. I am just going to export this image but you can also export batch of images. In export settings, I can select if I want the final files to be PNG or JPEG. Let's just do JPEG and hit export. It gave me three files, mask. The second is the final new image with purple background. And it also gave me PNG image with a transparent background. Let's select another image and show you manual selection. I'm going to select plant and animal. And now I see that there are too many selections. I don't need them all. You just click on the selection. You can resize the selection 
by just dragging the sides. When you right click, you can remove the selection. Let's just remove some of them. You can also add manual selection by just dragging on the screen the area and now you have new selection. Let's keep only one main selection and make it a little bit bigger. Another great tool this software has is Image Enhancer. You can upscale the image one time or two times. Below are additional tools such as Rotate, Flip and Crop. Before I show you more tools, I want to show you how the software handles more difficult images. And here are the results I got. Here is Black Angel photo that really impressed me as this is one of the photos I was working on a few months ago and the other software just did not work like that. It had very rough edges around the wings. The next images I did not take, but I just want to show you what it can do. Let's take a look at this flower that is white and has many details. This is a very difficult image. The background was very moved very well. Let's just zoom in a bit more to see the details. Here is another white flower. The details are impressive. It really is very precise. The next shot of a bride is very bright, but it still could detect the edges of the dress. The last example is sunset photo of a boat. That one also impressed me as some of the lines are almost getting last in the red color, but it was detected really well. The next image I took and I purposely selected as it doesn't have a precise selection because I want to show you more tools. There is a section called refinement. Each of these effects does something different. I already went ahead and I processed them all as I can turn them on and off. The first one is smooth processing. It is supposed to give you smoother edges. The next one really shows a difference and that is outline emphasis. The next one is balance brightness, which is not suitable for this particular image. And the last one is invert alpha mask. Whenever you learn how to use a new software, it is best to just simply experiment with all the tools and see what tools work for certain images. Not all the tools are going to be suitable for this shot, for example. They might be suitable for other images. There are additional tools on the left that lets you manually adjust the edges. The first one is the eraser tool. I am just using the default settings for each tool, but you can customize them further. The next tool I'm going to show you with a different image that is more suitable so you can see the differences. Brush lets you bring back areas you don't want to be erased. Dodge is next. Another tool is Burn. And then there are Undo and Redo buttons. Reset and Mask Highlight, where you can change it from black to any color you prefer. So what do you think about this software? Let me know in the comment section below. I personally really like it. I think it's great. Link to the software with exclusive discounts can be found below the video if you want to try it out. You can also try it out for free. There's a limited time offer. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in one of those videos next. Ciao. Ahoy.